have time for some email questions. You ready? We got to get serious now. We, well, I don't know. Let me okay. give you the question. You can decide. The integrity of the show. <laughs> this is the viewer who says, there are so many people in ministry who call themselves prophets, but they're not always legit. Who are some of the modern day prophets that you follow and would recommend? That's a good question. Well, one of the reasons I'm sitting here today is Bill Hammond came to the Philippines and, and I had a whole debate. Do I go to his meeting? I was coming out of Mindanao and um, frankly needed a shower and did, but <laughs> anyway I, I got off the plane and I said okay reluctantly I'll go and I'll, I'll just hang out in the back and, and hear what he has to say he had prophesied the president President Ramos of the Philippines and when Ramos had lost his own party's nomination and that prophecy encouraged him to run independently and then he won the general election so okay i want to hear what bill has to say he picks me out from the back of the audience and says you the sandy-haired guy i'm with you know 2500 filipinos looking around for who's the sandy-haired guy and, and you know duh it's you and he gets me on that stage and he says that god wants you to know that your face and your voice are going to go around the world on television at that point in my life, I, I wanted to dedicate myself to, to mission work. And I was going to villages in um, India and, and Thailand and uh, China. And, and Mindanao was a Muslim area. And I was trying to start a Muslim uh, missionary group there. And it completely changed um, my direction. And, and God reinforced it with um, focus on television. That's what he told me in my, my prayer closet. So here I am, focused on television. Um, you know, Alice Smith and DGS Dinakarin have both been um, uh, useful in my life. But, uh, you know, keep the scriptures in mind. Uh, there's a reason Paul says, don't despise prophecy. So even if in Paul's day, he's, he's encouraging believers, don't despise it. And just because somebody gets it wrong, uh, you know, just don't, don't throw the prophet out. We're not going to take people out and stone them anymore. Uh, at the same time, you're supposed to judge it, and, and that judgment is absolutely critical. You can't let an individual word drive your life, and these you know, personal prophecies change everything. There has to be agreement with the Scripture, and there has to be agreement with your spirit, and you can ask God for two or more witnesses. So please judge it, because that's what the Scripture says to do.